start of an American reawakening about the magnificence and calling of space. My hope is that here in Washington and out there in homes of those who see or learn about this hearing, that there will be a new resolve to see in the night sky the faces of our children. Launch Control, this is Houston. We are go for launch. I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the earth. No single space project in this period will be more impressive to mankind or more important for the long-range exploration of space. And none will be so difficult or expensive to accomplish. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. Liftoff on Apollo 11. Houston, uh, Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. Rocket twink. Tranquility, we copy you on the ground. You got a bunch of guys about to turn blue. We're breathing again. Thanks a lot. It is time for America to take the next steps. Today I announce a new plan to explore space and extend a human presence across our solar system. So it is not surprising that some would have us stay where we are a little longer, to rest, to wait. But this city of Houston, this state of Texas, this country of the United States was not built by those who waited and rested and wished to look behind them. But the main purpose of this spacecraft will be to carry astronauts beyond our orbit to other worlds. The exploration of space will go ahead, whether we join in it or not. Our third goal is to return to the moon by 2020 as the launching point for missions beyond. For the eyes of the world, now look into space, to the moon, and to the planets beyond. EC-93, looking super, there's Doug. Okay, down at three, 50 feet, down at four, give me one quick up. Back it up slightly. But why some say the moon? Why choose this as our goal? And they may well ask, why climb the highest mountain? Why 35 years ago, fly the Atlantic? Why does Rice play Texas? We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other thing, not because they are easy, but because they are hard because that goal will serve to organize and measure the best of our energies and skills, because that challenge is one that we're willing to accept, one we are unwilling to postpone, and one we intend to win. Oh, hey, there is boring soil. Well, don't move it till I see it. It's all over. Cars now approaching uh, lunar sunrise. And uh, for all the people back on Earth, the crew of Apollo 8 has a message that we would like to send to you. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the Earth. And the Earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, let there be light. And there was light, and God saw the light, that it was good, and God divided the light from the darkness. American challenge of today has forged man's destiny of tomorrow. And as we leave the moon and Taurus Literal, we leave as we came, and God willing, as we shall return. With peace and hope for all mankind. God speed the crew of Apollo 17. Many years ago, great British explorer George Mallory, who was to die 
On Mount Everest, I was asked why did he want to climb it. He said because it is there. The space is there. And we're going to climb it. And the moon and the planets are there. And new hopes for knowledge and peace are there. And therefore, as we set sail, we ask God's blessing on the most hazardous and dangerous and greatest adventure on which man has ever embarked. And from the crew of Apollo 8, we close with good night, good luck, a Merry Christmas, and God bless all of you, all of you on the good earth.